Well, Aboriginal leaders from northern Ontario came south today to Toronto to where there is a, a central cluster of media to talk to to make their plight known. The Nishkandiga First Nation in northern Ontario, just north of Thunder Bay, has been without clean drinking water for, get this, 20 years without clean, safe drinking water. And the chief of the Nishkandiga First Nation says that is something that has to stop. He wants it to become part of the federal election campaign, and he wants it to be something that the next prime minister deals with personally. We're calling on the government to, to, uh, to, to be aware of this. We need action. We need resolution as to how, why this is continuing today in our community. Our people in this community, Nishkandiga, yes, we're only 350 people, but we're still human beings. While the chief and some of his fellow Aboriginal leaders came south, last week, Radio Canada, our colleagues there, went north to look at the Nishkandiga First Nation firsthand. And what they found was uh, people under a fair amount of stress just trying to find access to clean drinking water. In the school where the children go, there are plenty of taps, but the water that comes out of them, not safe to drink. They have to walk down to the main hallway to a sort of giant water cooler to get their drinking water. The situation can be even more dire in the homes of the three or 400 people who live in the community. Uh, they also, of course, have no access to clean and safe drinking water. Uh, babies that are washed in it have health problems. Some of them have sores, rashes. Parents there have taken to cleaning their children with baby wipes. It is a continuing effort just to keep baby bottles clean enough to put milk in for children. First I use the water from the tap and then I boil the water with this water, the tap water, to wash them. Then I use, I use the water from the water plant to rinse them. This problem that exists in Nishkandiga is a problem that exists in many Aboriginal and First Nations communities across Canada. At any given time, it's estimated about one in five are under boil water orders, and those are only the ones that have access to running water. Many don't. James Murray, CBC News, Toronto.